What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And right now we're going to be talking about a secret secret level up trick for season 2. All right? Now that you guys know every 2 weeks they're going to be resetting the field passes, right? And some of you guys are still getting used to it. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know or not familiar with Madden 23, you can no longer repeat the same challenges and get XP. It has to be specific to what is going on with the field pass. So what is the big secret, right? You know, how are we going to, you know, help us to get to uh, an advantage of leveling up fast in season two? Well, one of the things that you're going to get, right, when you go through and grind the entire thing up to level 61, you're going to get this season two XP collectible, which is going to be a jump start into season two. But that's not what it's about. I'm going to get to what we're going to be doing in a second. But this right here is going to also help you guys uh, as you guys go through and grind up if you're going to try to finish it up within the next two days. Because just because it says season two in two days doesn't mean that EA is ready to release season two in two days. So I'm going to make sure that even with all of that and we know that they might delay it and all these things might happen, you still need to be prepared. So let's take a look at some of the things that we maxed out, right? You see in competitive, right? You see all this stuff going on right here? All right. Um, reach level five of the competitive, competitive field pass, uh, campus heroes, all this stuff right here. Um, you notice how you had challenges and different variations that went into the programs to level up. Well, this is why I'm trying to get you guys right now to understand why it's not smart to really start playing Mutt Champs until after the two days when this actually changes, right? So you can see two days, 19 hours, 35 minutes. All right, so you got about, you know, three days, probably like Thursday, we should be seeing uh, season two, okay? Now, look at where we are with the competitive pass and look at what I just showed you before. We don't really want to do stuff that's going to get us these levels because once we do it, it's not going to be transferable back. So right now, with the way everything is set up, we're at 20, okay? So some of you guys are like, yo, so gee, what should we be doing? You know, wh why not play it while it's there? You're going to have two weeks pretty much any way to do it. It doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? You're going to still be able to do it. It's just the fact of I don't want you guys to lose the XP knowing, right? Knowing that EA Sports has already taken XP from us that we're just not going to get back. So you have to be very, very smart with it because it's going to probably be the same guidelines. And once you do it, you know, if it, if it uh, animates and you get the XP during season one within the next two to three days, you're just done. You're not going to have the secret fast upgrade, bro. You're going to already be speeding right through it. Even with like solo battles, I know it's kind of difficult because it's like, yo, gee, what else we're going to do? But this is what you do, right? You can play head to head and then you can take your time. The problem with it though, right? With the way that this is set up, when you get to the next level, some of you are going to miss this one. Because it's going to be impossible to not, unless you guys play franchise or you do something else, it's going to be kind of impossible to avoid getting to 30. You know what I'm saying? With the way everything is set up. But that's going to be the ultimate thing because when you start to do the math and you see how much XP, that, that, that 25 is really, really big, bro. That 25 is serious business. And then you got another 25 at 100. So, you know, more right here at 50. And then they're going to probably drop a new promo that's going to be within the promo giving you more XP. So it's going to even get that level higher. But now we have to figure out, yo, G, what are we doing? What can we do? Like I said, you have to do the things that give you the less channel points for the next two days, 18 hours, whatever it is. You're just going to have to figure that out. Because right now, like, like I'm saying, I, I got three games before I get five, right? And then I can take my time with everything else. But when you play Mutt Champions, you automatically get two for every win, which is bad. You get two for every win until you get to a certain amount. And then it gets bad. And then now you're just going to be missing out on everything that's going on. And that's the primary focus of it. So for those of you guys that are like, yo, gee, um, you know, should we, you know, do any of these things that are going on right now? You have the whole week. So we don't want to get to two point conversions. We don't want to do that part. Right. We don't really want to pass the crazy yards. It's, it's so many things you have to try to avoid, but it's going to be very, very difficult to do. Because obviously we're going to score touchdowns and stuff like that. And you guys are going to be, you know, we're going to be playing mutt uh, throughout the week. Unfortunately, there's nothing else going on because there's no uh, house rules right now. And we have everything else maxed out. All right. So once this resets, it's over. 
you know, that's it. You're just done. It's, it's nothing you could really do about it. So you're going to have to just bite the bullet on it and try to avoid as much as you can going through that. So what I was going to suggest about it to kind of like buy the time for those of you guys. But remember, I'm going to be streaming for you guys and giving you guys, uh, you know, mutt content throughout the next couple days. It's going to be very difficult for me unless you guys want to watch me play solo battles. And, you know, most of you guys will be like, yo, what are you doing? It don't make no sense. So very we got to do it very very carefully now for those of you guys that have not completed everything as far as like challenges you can do that in the meantime especially if you haven't gotten any of these free cards i gotta tell you right now jim punk uh, jim plunkett balling out out of control all right also i don't think we've done all the gridiron challenges and like i was telling you guys before because we maxed everything out Everything else that you do now, if you're just getting into it, like say you just started running through all these challenges, you're not going to get any XP towards level one unless it applies to the field pass. So I just want to make sure I'm letting you guys understand that it's a very, very different game. And for the most part, throughout the entirety of the year, field pass has been broken. They've made it a little bit better now. I've been seeing more rewards as we get, you know, closer to season two. Uh, but if they can get it through so that it works, it definitely is a major upgrade to the previous Maddens as far as like grinding the game. Because then you do certain things objective wise and look for it as opposed to just grinding something over and over again and just leveling up. But again, it has been broken, but I, you know, I see what the idea is. So you can go through these things temporarily to avoid getting competitive points because it's only two days. Or, you know, franchise mode. Now, I already played my franchise game for this week, so I'm, well, I advanced in another two days, so I'm not gonna be able to even go over there and do anything. I can possibly go there and um, you know, talk about my team and stuff like that just to get that done. But objectively, there's nothing else really going on with that. Another thing you can do is you can do uh, the training variety packs, all right? Do you have coins? I mean, well, training points for it or whatever. You know, probably you're gonna be like, yo, gee, I don't really got training for it. Yo, what's up? Um, these are just some suggestions because right now the AKA players, you can't pull an AKA player and there's no limiteds with the AKA player. So there's no real need to do variety packs until there's a limited available that's in it. Other than that, it's kind of a waste of time. So I wouldn't recommend doing that um, unless you're looking just for like the coin packs and stuff like that. Uh, the new AKA players that are out, uh, Edrin James, AKA Edge, and then you got the D tackle, uh, Mean Joe, you could probably go ahead and uh, check those things out as well. And then finally, you can do some spring cleaning or winter house cleaning, dude, and get rid of cards that you don't need. Uh, to you know, that's just sitting around. Like Stefan Gilmore, do I think, dude? Look, I don't know if I'm gonna ever use him again. I don't. He's probably, what is he? At 87 speed. I don't think he's useful going forward for us. So it might not make sense to hold on to him. I don't think he gets any like real good abilities. Um, cause I would consider using him, but I don't think he does. And plus Woolen, who was a season, one of the season one cards from competitive, he's way better. So you can start doing some spring cleaning, uh, get rid of Gilmore. Cause remember these guys are not eligible for sets. So when you're done with them, you can just go ahead and get rid of them. And I would just go through it and see, but guys don't get rid of cards that will come back to haunt you. Um, like, you know, maybe we'll end up getting Rod Woodson again. We completed a set and got his free 88. We probably shouldn't get rid of that. Michael Vick, I want to raid so because I think he sucks. But just go through it. Like, this guy, Lance, like, dude, am I? are we really going to use this guy? A 84 speed, 6'3". Like, dude, like, what's going on? Like, I don't, does he even get any other teams other than the Rams? Like, dude, like, no. So, guys like this, if you've already completed everything and got it, I don't really see a need for it. No sets, can't be auctioned, and it's not tradable. Go ahead and take the training. And those are the things you can do to kind of wait, wait it out for the next two days. And then by the time everything drops, you'll be up and ready to go. And now you know the secret for leveling up fast. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. Stay well, stay blessed. Until next time. One love, y'all.